how fast was I going? Oh wow. That's only eight kilometers an hour from me seizing this car. Okay, what do you do for a living? Leviathan here, simple question. Was I speeding or was I not? As you can tell, this is a little bit of a throwback as I was in my Ferrari F430, but I remember this day very clearly. It was actually April 1st, the very first day I took my Ferrari out for a cruise after a long period of hibernation. So I was itching to go for a fun spirited drive. But how hard was this itch? So today I'm gonna to share the entire experience of exactly what happened because it is still a bit of a mystery to me at least. The funny story is this isn't exactly the first time I've gotten into trouble on that road. In fact, a few years before, I was with my girlfriend at the time on my Yamaha R6. It was a bit of a Top Gun moment. If you don't understand the reference, essentially there were jets flying above me, there was water to my left, and there was a crowd of people to my right. So naturally, it was hard for me to resist the urge and temptation to speed. Every year there's this annual air show in Toronto and I just happened to get caught in the middle of it. But I did learn a pretty serious lesson because that day I was speeding. Since it was my first speeding ticket, the officer did show me some leniency and she dropped my charge to what would have otherwise been a very serious offense. In fact, my bike would have been towed away. I would have had lost my license for seven days. And there's a good chance that I could have had a criminal record. And I would certainly not be driving this car today. Maybe I wouldn't even be driving. So I took that as a very serious wake-up call. There was a time where I would take excessive risks and hoon around, but now I'm very careful because to me, the consequences of just going 50 over is very, very serious. Look, in a supercar, hitting 50 over is easy. I don't even have to try and just in a matter of seconds I can go well over the speed limit with no drama, with no fuss. That's what these cars are designed to do. And if you do decide to venture even further then you have a lot at risk. So anyways, back to the story, Alpha. Well, I was cruising by myself on April 1st in the Ferrari F430. The Ferrari was imported from the US, which means the Speedo is in miles an hour. 40 miles an hour roughly translates to 60 kilometers an hour, which is the speed limit of that road. And as you can tell from the video, I was clearly around the 40 mile an hour zone or the speed limit. However, I was pulled over for doing 41 kilometers over the speed limit, which is very close to the cusp of actually having my car impounded. And speaking of speeding, there's a police car right over there with a radar detector. And my question may not be that simple to answer. Was I speeding or was I obeying the law? Well, there are many things that could have happened. One, his radar gun could have been incorrectly calibrated. My speedo could have been incorrect. Or there may be scenes from that footage which I just don't have. Since I was actually unsure, I decided to take it to court which ruled in my favor and the charge was actually dropped. So my record is again, very clean. I'm very curious to know what your thoughts are as well. Obviously now that it's over and done with, nothing's really gonna change, but it's always been this little mystery in my head that I just haven't been able to solve. So I wanted to get your feedback as well. I've had my scares and I've had my lessons. I'm very careful when it comes to obeying the law. With a few exceptions being the, the front plate ticket, which I had. That was for you. <laughs> so there you have it. That is the story of my first speeding ticket in the Ferrari F430. What's your thought? Thanks for watching. Until next time.